What's up guys? So I reached out and got some help from you guys. So we're doing the best uh, 200 to $300 budget smartphones. We're going to try not to hit 300 and just keep it sort of in that 200 range. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first phone on the list is the Galaxy S8. Now this is a pretty interesting phone because it's got some really great specs. Even though it came out in 2017, it's still uh, got some really nice competitive specs. So you have a very nice premium design. Still looks very modern with the curved glass. Uh, so you have a glass bag in aluminum frame it's also ip68 water and dust resistant now this phone also has the super amoled display so you have a beautiful display and it's got kind of a compact uh, screen size at 5.8 inches uh, it is 1440p 570 for the ppi so extremely high very beautiful high res display uh, so you do have Android 9 on top of One UI. Now I don't believe this phone is going to receive Android 10, or if Samsung is going to continue to keep updating this phone. Uh, you know I highly doubt it. Uh, now for the CPU, depending on which uh, model you get, uh, you get the Snapdragon 835 along with the Adreno 540. Uh, like I said, you can get the Exynos or the Mali uh, processor depending on which model. Uh, so you do have the micro SD support up to one terabyte along with 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM. So this phone actually has a very capable camera uh, for its price range. So it's a 12 megapixel wide. It shoots in 2160p and it takes some really excellent photos from what I've seen. Still very competitive for an older uh, phone. Yes, it is missing, you know, an ultra wide depth sensor, but still takes some really decent photos. Uh, so you do have a selfie camera up front, 8 megapixel that also shoots in 1440p, uh, which is pretty impressive. You have the headphone jack, of course, along with NFC and USB type C and you have all the Samsung stuff uh, the Samsung uh, desktop experience the iris scanner the fingerprint scanner is uh, the on the the fingerprint scanner is on the back and you have a 3000 milliamp battery with 15 watt fast charging and you do have wireless charging as well so this is a really nice phone uh, if you're looking to get kind of a cheaper Samsung phone but you want you know something a little bit more powerful or better display I would definitely consider this all right the next phone you guys pick was the LG G7 now this is a very impressive phone uh, for it around 180 to 200 again you can get it cheaper on eBay if you want to get risky uh, but you do have a glass back aluminum frame very beautiful design feels excellent in the hand IP68 uh, dust and water resistant now you have an IPS display it's not an AMOLED display but it's a 6.1 inch display so nice size it is a 1440p display and 564 for the PPI so very high res and it also has the always on function which is impressive uh, so you do have Android 9 again uh, you won't probably get Android 10 but you will have you know modders and stuff to be able to uh, boot Android 10 on here so uh, you do have Snapdragon 845 along with the Adreno 630 processor more than capable of playing the latest games at high no problem you have micro SD support up to one terabyte as well as 64 gigs of storage and four gigs of RAM so what I love about this phone is that you have a dual uh, 16 megapixel and a 16 megapixel ultra wide and it takes some pretty impressive photos for uh, the money that you're getting uh, so it's 2160p for the video 8 megapixel camera for the selfie is pretty respectable that one shoots in 1080p also you have the 3.5 millimeter jack and you have the DTS surround sound uh, which which is nice so I love listening to audio on this phone you also have NFC on board along with USB type C a pretty fast physical fingerprint scanner on the back a 3000 milliamp battery which will get you around a day of battery life if you turn the resolution down you can probably get a day and a half uh, 18 watt fast charging along with wireless charging as well so an excellent excellent smartphone next is the bold m1 uh, my personal favorite so you have a glass body on here which is awesome a uh, glass and metal it's a really nice design feels very premium uh, you have an amulet display uh, no notch on here which i love uh, very thin bezels 1080p 403 for the ppi just a beautiful display for the 200 dollars price point uh, you will be getting android 10 with this guy now this has the helio p70 processor and the mali g72 uh, which is more than capable of gaming at medium settings so uh, very good for that uh, you also have micro sd support up to 128 gigs and you also get 128 gigs of, of storage for uh, 200 bucks that's really really good uh, at 4 gigs of ram uh, you do have some pretty respectable cameras a 16 megapixel camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensor that shoots in 1080p 
Now you also have a motorized pop-up camera, 13 megapixels uh, that's used in 1080p. And it's very respectable and good lighting. Uh, so you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack along with USB type C. And you also have a 3,500 milliamp battery along with 18 watt fast charging. And the kicker with this one is you actually get wireless charging on a $200 smartphone. It's very, very impressive. Next is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. So this is an excellent smartphone as well, coming in at 200 bucks. And you guys are going to be really impressed with this one. So uh, you do have a front and glass back uh, and it's just solid, solid build. It's kind of a heavy phone, but uh, very good for the build quality. Very beautiful. You have an IPS water drop notch display uh, pretty big display 6.53 inches 1080p 395 for the ppi now you have android 9 on top of me ui 11 uh, this of course will get android 10 now the seller with this is that you have the helio g90t processor in the Mali g76 gpu so basically you will be able to play pretty much any game on high from Call of Duty, Fortnite, PUBG, you can play all that on high. For 200 bucks, uh, you cannot beat this phone. Uh, so you have micro SD support up to 256 gigs, 64 gigs of storage, and 6 gigs of RAM. Again, that's another highlight. Uh, you also have very, very good cameras, 64 megapixel wide and 8 megapixel ultra wide. 2 megapixel uh, dedicated macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor at 2160p for the video. The video is okay, it's not as good as the you know photos. Uh, you do have a selfie camera at 20 megapixels uh, at 1080p, which is also very good. So, this keeps the 3.5 millimeter jack, which is a plus. You have NFC on board, you have the fingerprint scanner on the back, and you have a huge 4500 milliamp battery along with 18 watt fast charging. So, as you can see, this is pretty much the spec beast when it comes to the uh, you know $200 budget phone all right so next is the Y9 Prime so this is another uh, $200 budget smartphone and it's pretty interesting so you have a plastic bill but it has a very good weight to it now you also have a 1080p display at 6.59 inches so it's a very big phone no notch you have the pop-up camera or you do have emui one of my favorite os's uh, at 9.1 on top of android 9 and you will get android 10. now you have the kirin 710f processor and the mali g51 which is kind of a low end to mid end gaming chip so you got micro sd support up to one terabyte Terabyte, which is awesome you also have 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigabytes of ram so this has some actually some excellent cameras 16 megapixel wide and 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor but it only shoots in 1080p and then for the pop-up camera you have a 16 megapixel camera that shoots in 1080p took some very good pictures good color accuracy good dynamic range overall I was pretty impressed uh, so you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack on top of USB type C and you also have a very nice 4000 milliamp battery uh, which will get you about a day and a half so I really love this phone if you're a Huawei fan and we're going to throw in an honorable mention of the Samsung Galaxy A20 only reason is because I put this on the list so many times but it's still a very good phone for around that $200 price range uh, so it's got a plastic body but it still feels very premium uh, in the hand you have a super AMOLED display 6.4 inches very nice big display 720p 268 for the PPI. You have Android 9, which this will be getting Android 10 and One UI 2.0, which is impressive. Uh, you also have the Xenos 7884 processor and the Mali G71, which is a like medium in uh, gaming chip, so it's pretty decent for gaming. You also have micro SD support up to one terabyte and 32 gigs of storage and three gigs of RAM. So you also have a dual camera setup, a 13 megapixel wide and a five megapixel ultra wide. And this actually takes some excellent photos good color accuracy dynamic range it's just a really really nice camera surprisingly the 8 megapixel front facing camera is also very good uh, you also have NFC on board which is excellent and here's the best thing about this phone you have a 4000 milliamp battery this thing will get you around 10 hours of screen on time how impressive is that 10 hours of screen on time just amazing so you also get 15 watt fast charging as well so as you can see this phone is a beast so another phone I wanted to give an honorable mention to was the Nokia 4.2 just in case you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money that is also a really good option I really love uh, you know these kind of really cheap Nokia phones because they have excellent hardware so that's another phone that you could uh, look at as well so thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one